Hey there, so I was in the market for a new EDC flashlight and I used to carry one of those AAA uh, single battery flashlights and I decided to upgrade to the Olight and it's the S1R Baton. And I noticed, I've been carrying it for a few weeks now and I really do enjoy this flashlight and I use it a lot living in Alaska. We're heading into the dark season and these little flashlights really come in handy getting to and from cars and things like that. But I did notice one day I pulled it out of my pocket and I went to use it. I pushed the on button and the flashlight would not come on. So I got curious and then I unscrewed the back cap and screwed it back on and pushed the button and the light worked. Uh, but I did notice on the back of this and I don't know if it's going to focus in, but it does say do not short circuit. Uh, the negative post is kind of that center copper and the kind of the silver looking ring is the positive. And so then I got to thinking, well, could this flashlight be shorting out in my pocket? And for work, I carry my work keys here. One of the things I do in my job is I manage a janitorial company and I carry a, um, a key for the paper products. And there were times I noticed that the key would be stuck to the back of it or my other you know, keys would be stuck to it. And I assumed that that was part of the issue. So see like right now the flashlight will come on, but what I'm assuming has happened is the particular post here on this key or end up getting magnetized and somehow, you know, just coincidentally touching and probably shorting out the back of the, or shorting out the flashlight. And sure enough, if I go to push the on off switch, it won't come on. So unscrew the back and rescrew it. And there you go, and it comes back on. So I decided I'll carry my keys in a different uh, part, just part of my pants, or uh, maybe put the flashlight in a different pocket because I, I didn't want to have that keep happening. I don't know if there's any long term issue or effect that would have to the battery. Um, and I didn't, you know, the, the flashlight's $65, so I didn't want to waste money on that. I suppose you, I could carry it in, it comes with a case, and uh, I just read rather just carry it in my pocket. I did take the clip off of it. And so I don't necessarily think it's a manufacturing issue or what have you, but it's more of kind of a user thing or just something to be mindful of. But then I got curious and was wondering if the back here actually had active or hot power going to it because it is magnetically charged and, and the, the charging port goes here. So I was curious to see if there was power there. So let's hook it up to the multimeter and see what readings we get. Okay, so, so you should be able to see that. We're getting oh, approximately 4.01 volts coming out of the back of the flashlight. So there is power going to the back of it. And I guess that makes sense since it is magnetically, you know, charged that way. So if you're gonna get the uh, S1R baton, you may wanna be mindful of that um, so that you don't have any magnetic things sticking to it. As long as it's flat magnetic sticking to it, it's not gonna affect the, the electronics of it. But obviously if you touch these two sections, it's really going to affect the operation of the flashlight. Another thing I did notice, and, and this one's truly user error, is I had it in my pocket and the um, flashlight came on and it got super hot in my pocket and that's when I noticed that it was on. But it does have a lockout function. So if you push down on the on off button and just hold it, it'll go into midnight mode. And if you push the button, you'll see that there's a red light there. And to get it out of that mode, you just hold it down until it goes into uh, moonlight mode and then you can turn it off and on and cycle back through your settings. And it works just fine. So overall, I'm very happy with the flashlight. Just with some minor adjustments in its usage, I think it's gonna be just fine. 